hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you image to image geo referencing in arcgis 10.3 uh, first of all i'll show you uh, this uh, this is the list for images okay so you can see there are list for images i want to geo reference this image okay you can see this image i want to geo reference so now uh, if we zoom it on uh, here you can see uh, this is the river this uh, this river must be gone through this uh, location but it was changes some set of images in here you can see okay so this is the set you can see okay so i want to image to image your reference for uh, correct uh, this uh, kinds of things okay now what we have to do uh, we have to first of all find some common points which are in both images i want to reference this image i have other list for image on that particular side that are already geo referenced okay but this image have some error that's why i want to geo reference this image okay we have to find some common control point based on the gcp point we have to use the transformation type also this is the geo referencing toolbar before you have to geo referenced you have to select the images okay this is you can see this is 10453 that is path row d now i have to select first of all that images selecting that then we have to find some common points on here okay now zoom it on a, on a particular position here you can see very few meter set on here okay now we taking the point this is add control point first take uh, the gcp point on that image that you want to geo referenced then take it on the geo already geo referenced image okay i take it okay you can see uh, this is a table so you can see this is the image now we have to take some other points also the gcp point must be well spread on the whole uh, the image so we take one now we take the second one on here okay so we take uh, this one now check it off we'll take it on here so we take the second one or second gcp point sorry this was unchecked that's why uh, it was not shown in here okay so now we can see this is the second gcp point we take now we have to take the third one okay so we are taking the third one this one situated on here uh, this is the black portion and we take it on here of it and zoom it on here and take it on here okay the third this is point we already taken why it was uh, off i don't know now next one we taken from here so this is a water body and this is a road i take some uh, points on here 
now of it and i think the point is on here okay so we take the fourth point also now we have to remember what uh, transformation type we have to use now for affine transformation we need uh, three points that is a first order uh, polynomial uh, now we can you can see here that is uh, transforming the raster okay so the number of uh, non correlated control points required for this method must be one if have you have to take in 1.40 order shift 3 for first order affine 6 for the second order and 10 for the third order okay now we take only four that means it was appeared as first order polynomial or affine transformation we can take more points uh, then uh, we have to use uh, second order transformation or second order polynomial or third order polynomial for 10 now we used uh, second order polynomial we take uh, six uh, or seven points okay now we take the third uh, sorry a fifth point you can check the georeferencing is uh, proper or not if it is a uh, proper then you don't have to take more or just three points okay now we can you can use this this is the images so this is the visualization toolbar so we can use uh, this uh, images and we can visualize the georeferencing is uh, properly happen or not now you can see the georeference is correct on here now we have to check it on other side also if the georeferencing is correct on that side then we don't have to take other gcb point We are going to here zoom it properly then you can properly check so on here you can see some changes okay so you have to take other point also okay now we taking the fifth point on here all here okay so this is the image where uh, this is a canal and where the road is going okay we take uh, this one so what we basically need we need uh, half pixel error okay if it is more than that then the image georeferencing is not correct okay You can see on here uh, this was not properly georeferenced so we have to take other points also now we take six point now we can use the second order polynomial so the error is less than uh, one meter also okay so the zero referencing is uh, correct on a second order transformation but i don't think it was uh, properly zero referenced we have to select some other points also
so when the all points are taken and uh, visualize that uh, all points are correct so you can check it as uh, this one or uh, you can change or remove any one okay for removing any points just select that one and uh, press the delete link select that one press the delete link or you can uh, paste or press on here okay uh, now I submit it on another name just click on save okay now go to the georeferencing then go to the rectify okay so now give the output select this add then uh, give the name on here rectify you can change the resample, resample types near neighborhood or bilinear interpolations so i give give it as a default that is nearest nearest neighborhood okay then click on save button so you can see that uh, this was a heavy image of this port so it takes some times for georeferencing after that you can open it on your desktop or in, in RGS you can check it that is it was properly georeferenced thank you for watching this video for more update you can subscribe to my channel thank you